Well, hey YouTube, Louie here, and welcome to the weekend. I'm glad we made it. Okay, today we're going to look at the action in the markets for the week. It was really, really interesting. Um, we're also going to explore the 2020 Libertads and try to look for clues as to uh, when they're coming out and uh, how uh, exactly how desirable this coin will be. And a couple other tips along the way, so let's get going. All right, for the week, gold uh, dropped, right? Uh, let's see, we went from 2035 down to 1945, a very significant drop in gold. Silver also dropped from 2832 down to 2644. And, uh, but on the year, uh, we still have gold up 27.79%, still in its uptrend. We have silver still rocking at 46.81%, also still in its uptrend. And uh, platinum, uh, yeah, had some damage on the week as well. Uh, it went from 960 down to 934. So, uh, and the only thing that did well this week was the Dow, uh, up about 500 points. So um, silver is still in first place in terms of appreciation, uh, nearly double that of gold for the year, but uh, had really gotten ahead of itself. I don't think silver had a pullback uh, since April. Um, gold, I believe, hasn't had a pullback since about uh, June. So both were uh, terribly in need of a pullback. And as I said last week, I thought that the miners were signaling exhaustion uh, in this move and that we were ready to, uh, you know, pull back and consolidate. Well, that's exactly what we did. And, uh, you know, also, if you are buying on the dip, you probably did OK, um, at least in the silver market. Uh, we had a, a little rebound uh, the day after the big fall. But um, I think that we have a little more to go here. So uh, my prediction, uh, I'm looking for uh, the new bottom for silver uh, in around 24. Um, if you did some dip buying like I did, um, you're okay with that, but you didn't put all your money back into the market. As I told you, I had reduced my, uh, my minor positions <clears throat> and, my, and my other uh, metal positions um, by half. Uh, I reduced them again recently. Um, the miners, that is, because I think we may be weak here for another day or two, or perhaps longer. Uh, if we did get down in the 24 range, I think that would be a screaming buy, especially if you could find the physical. I'm going to show you a couple things that, uh, that I found uh, before we get uh, into the Libertads. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, when we had that big drop, I tweeted a uh, nice buy over at Scottsdale. It was uh, something like 27 to $28 an ounce for a beautiful Scottsdale stacker. Um, and uh, that, that would have been a good buy on that day. But like I said, I think we could go a little lower. So uh, a couple things to look at. All right, first off, uh, here is the Scottsdale stacker I tweeted out a few days ago. And uh, on the day I tweeted it, um, it was uh, 270. It, it had a 270 uh, in the high 270s, I believe. <clears throat> Free shipping on this guy. So I thought that was a pretty good buy on that day. Uh, presently, it's at 293. So you can see Spot did recover a little bit. Um, so this is a page I like to keep handy. Um, I would buy these all day long before I'd buy American Silver Eagles. So some food for thought. Um, but if you did want uh, American coinage, you could look at something like this. I found this over at Gainesville Coins. Of course, these uh, might have been cheaper a couple days ago. But here they have a listing for a uh, 5-ounce ATB random design. And uh, they, they don't want you to get too excited about it. They don't even have an image yet. But you guys know uh, all know what the America the Beautiful coin is all about. And um, at 142 uh, for five ounces, that's about $28, $29 an ounce. They do charge shipping. It's a, it's a modest fee. So uh, you could always switch over to ATBs when the uh, American Silver Eagle um, gets out of sight. Um, I think this is a, a good price for an ATB. But uh, who knows? Could come down in the future. So bookmark that page, uh, Gainesville Coins. Um, 
ATBs. Okay, just some food for thought there. I have seen the premiums on these rise, and uh, right now people are all looking for the Eagles, but uh, th this is a, a good choice for an alternative. Uh, so are the Maples, but uh, you, you'll pay uh, much higher for Maples. So uh, good choice here. Okay, now on to the hunt for Libertads. You know I've done a video or two about Libertads over the years, and uh, they've really never let me down. Um, nice, nice premiums on the Libs uh, from the prior years, um, and uh, some low, low mintages. I mean, if you want to be, um, you know, hundreds of thousands instead of millions or tens of millions, um, you'll see the Libertads... Um, you know, generally stay under a million in production. That's the one ounce silver. And uh, as of late, 2018 is a key year. That's why you see those premiums even higher. 2019, exceedingly low. Um, and uh, the third lowest here in recent time is the 2014. Um, so uh, these vintages are low and apparently going lower. Uh, there is a large collector base for uh, one ounce Libertads, and I do believe that the image is changing soon, but I can't I can't promise you that. So uh, as we look for Libertads, we have to wonder what will happen in 2020. Well followed series, beautiful um, coin from uh, one of the oldest mints in the world, and uh, there has been just extreme devastation in Mexico. Uh, with the government shutting down everything from uh, from mines to uh, to beer, <laughs> they they just are uh, really taking a very very stern approach to it all. So I wanted to go back to this listing. All right, this is why I bought this Libertad at forty three dollars, um, which seems absolutely crazy. But uh, when you look at the possibilities, um, I wanted to be sure to get at least one. Now, this is going for $43 from a respected seller. I did get 5% uh, e-bucks on this. Um, if you're not signed up for eBay um, ebates, uh, I'm sorry, eBay e-bucks, <clears throat> be sure you do that. I also get 3% back on my um, eBay credit card. Be sure you do that as well. So I didn't really pay the 43, but I wanted to get at least one because I think what's going to happen here is uh, these are going to be released here sometime in the next month. That's just a guess. And uh, they're, they're going to be gone in, uh, in a second. And with silver pushing up back to 30 and perhaps beyond, um, I, could, I could see these becoming $80 coins uh, pretty fast. And uh, I, I know they're not coins, but I'm going to call them a coin. Uh, let's look at the story in Mexico and see if you think that uh, the mintage will be curtailed this year uh, below that 400, 300,000 level. Let's just go take a look and do some digging. All right, here is an article for uh, BN Americas, why COVID-19 is a mixed blow for Mexico's miners. And what I did here is go through the various mints. Um, and, um, well, we're trying to figure out how low production will be. Uh, here we are at uh, Gold Resource. Uh, silver production was 60% lower recently. Uh, guidance has been withdrawn. Gold Resource has withdrawn 2020 production guidance and does not plan to update it because of the risks of possible future outbreaks and government reactions. Okay, as I have said, uh, the reaction in Mexico has been stern, and uh, um, so there could be further shutdowns. Fortuna Silver, and you may own some of these silver mines, I do. Um, Fortuna Silver, uh, let's see, is down 52%. Operations were suspended for 52 days from April 2nd to May 25th. And yes, I do believe the mines have reopened, but 50% uh, reduction in their guidance. Sierra Metals um, output at the Kusi mine fell from 283 ounces to zero. Silver production at the Bolivar mine increased. Okay, output was lifted. Uh, guidance withdrawn. Sierra is working through a process to allow workers to safely return to the Kusi mine. 
Um, so they have not yet, as of, uh, I think this was a July article, they have not yet opened that mine. <clears throat> Torex Gold, production 48%, guidance withdrawn. Um, First Majestic, okay, a lot of people own First Majestic. Um, one of the go-to silver miners, although also overpriced, and that's why you see the uh, the lower capital capitalized mines doing better than First Majestic, but uh, a powerful miner. Silver production fell 43%, gold dipping 53%. Um, operations were halted for two weeks due to a union stoppage in mid-June. Um, it's been resolved now. Uh, Santa Elena saw the biggest fall, down 63%. Guidance, marginal decline. Revised full-year guidance uh, is tw 21 million ounces versus 21.5. That sounds about the same. The company expects higher byproduct gold prices and a weaker Mexican peso to lower annual cash costs. Okay, they're not really saying much there, but we know mines were shut down by decree in Mexico. Uh, Endeavor Silver uh, production down 42%, Argonaut down 22%. Okay, you get, you get the message. Although I do believe these mines, uh, or many of them, have reopened if the unions haven't continued to uh, be a problem. All right, here is an article from Mining Magazine, uh, Mines Restarting in Mexico. And let's see if there's a date on this article, May 29th. So you can figure uh, we lost April and May, and uh, some may have lost a part of June as well. But the mandate designed to curb the spread of COVID was initially issued March 31, all right, and is still expected to expire on May 30th. Um, I am not positive if it expired, but uh, some of the miners seem to be implying the mines are reopening. Uh, here's a few operations that are now back online and producing. Okay, Fortuna is back online. Uh, a company official said that production has also officially resumed at uh, nameplate capacity, 3,000 tons a day. Uh, let's see, on and on. Uh, now we're talking about Colorado. Okay, so that's just a little article that says expect the mines to reopen, but perhaps at a slower pace, right? And perhaps not all were reopened in June. Um, so uh, let, let's go around to uh, let, let's go around to the bullion sites and see what uh, they're saying about uh, the Libertad. All right, I have just uh, gone around to every uh, large retailer and uh, everyone is out of stock or uh, email me when available. But here is uh, BGS, BGASC's website. Um, they're all in this low $30 range, 30 to 32 for the most part. And uh, what I did is I set up an email notification on every major retailer uh, for the 2021 ounce uh, silver BU, um, because I do think when they come out in whatever supply they do, and you can imagine um, that the Mexico Mint will be dribbling them out, um, and uh, apparently some retailers do expect to get some, or they wouldn't be pre-saling them on eBay at $40, but uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be stalking the retailers. Uh, some are saying they're coming out at the end of August. Other people are saying there is no guarantee it will be the end of August. But judging from the number of listings that are up, pre-listings, if you will, at all the retailers, uh, I'm, I'm guessing these are going to be out in the next two, three weeks. And uh, you'll pay in the low 30s for them. And I will be getting as, uh, you know, as many as is reasonable. I'll probably try to exceed the limitation for sales tax uh, when I do this wherever they're cheapest and uh, buy a bunch because I, I do think that we will see a mintage below the 400,000, below the 300,000. Could it be 200,000? You know, uh, the other thing that's happening is with uh, the price of silver skyrocketing. You can't imagine that the Mexico Mint, one of the largest producers of, uh, or Mexico is one of the largest producers of silver in the world. You can't imagine that they're anxious to give away this national resource of theirs 
um, when prices are obviously rapid. Uh, sorry, I was cut off there. Another long-winded video, and I'm sorry. Um, uh, when prices are rapidly escalating, and uh, who knows, will there be a return to the silver-gold standard? I don't think so. But um, still, uh, with as much silver uh, as they have, uh, I don't know, I'd be anxious to sell it at uh, whatever they get on a wholesale basis. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't expect um, the mintage uh, mintages released in any of their coins to be high this year. Um, they are extremely unpredictable. And you, you may find that they only release 50,000 of each coin. I, I don't know, but it anything could happen. If anyone has inside information, please post below. Um, but uh, yeah, so how are you doing on the week? Did you sell your silver? Um, I wanted to give a little uh, tip to those uh, that uh, were thinking about it. And I've seen a video to the extent of uh, people trading at their LCS on the GSR. Um, so I want to just advise you to really consider if you're trading silver, your best performing metal this year, right? Consider um, if you're trading silver for gold, and I wouldn't, uh, a lot of people are waiting for 50 to 1 GSR, but if you are taking some profits off the table, getting the more secure, you know, granddaddy instead of the uh, jackrabbit silver, um, granddaddy gold instead of jackrabbit silver, um, consider a one a GSR trade with no premiums, uh, even even at an LCS is a ripoff for you because premium because silver, especially American silver eagles, um, you know if you're trading silver eagles for gold eagles, uh, keep in mind the premiums are enormous on the silver eagles, and the premium is probably you know uh, under what. 5%, uh, let's see, what's $100 over 2000 or 50 yeah, it's probably under 5% on Gold Eagles and probably over 40% on Silver Eagles. So if you've done that trade, uh, Silver Eagles for Gold Eagles, you just got royally ripped off. Now, if you can do it the other way, and I would, as I've been saying since Silver was 100 to 1 GSR, um, yeah, that's fine because you're trading a low premium or it's not low, it's high by historical standards, but gold is a reasonable premium for an unreasonable premium American Silver Eagle. I do that trade all day long, but do keep that in mind because you could sell your Eagles to Apmex or somewhere, um, you know, for whatever four over spot or to a friend for probably six over spot and go in and buy that gold Eagle for much less than they're trading. All right, so I uh, hope you're doing well and I uh, hope you didn't sell out, but I have reduced my paper positions. Um, and I think 24 may be in the cards. We got a little bit of a dead cap bounce there. Very unimpressive on the bounce. Uh, still a lot of people selling, I think, instead of buying. But uh, I, I think we're going to bounce around 24. Just my prediction. And uh, if you did buy on the dip, congratulations. Hopefully you didn't put all your money in on the dip. You should put that into segments when you buy. So uh, if it does drop lower, you can buy more. That's how I do the silver miners. Uh, you know, I reduced my positions down to like a quarter position level now. And I'll be adding back uh, as we dip down. The miners often signal um, what's going to happen um, in the in the in the spot market, uh, at least they sure did this time. So let's watch them closely. Watch uh, King Dollar. It uh, took a little victory lap uh, this week, and now I think it's headed back down. Long interest rates uh, rising, which uh, is really curious to me. Of course, that's negative for uh, precious metals, but how in the world are long interest rates going to continue to rise? when that is a signal uh, of the collapse of our financial, um, our financial markets. Uh, so I think you'll see the Fed come out uh, very quickly here and do some kind of an interest rate uh, control policy and slap those back down. Um, the Fed will not be raising interest rates. 
So uh, the long end rising, I, I think it's people taking their money out of the market, not to buy stocks, as uh, some people say, although that often is the way when uh, bonds decline, they're putting that money in the stock market. I think they're pulling that out of the market and going to cash and waiting for the collapse of, uh, of the Dow. Um, just what I think, you know, uh, I've been trading the VIX lately and that has been a really great hedge. Um, anyway, I digress. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them below. Hopefully this uh, video was useful. All right, I'll see you guys down in the silver mine. No, not really. I'll see you next week. Okay, you guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe out there. Bye now.